Here are three tips how to start a successful bookkeeping business. My name is Zach Pascarello, and I want to teach you how to quickly start a bookkeeping business so that you're making six figures in the first year. And I know how to do it because I did it. I have had my own bookkeeping business for the past three years, and I simply make these videos because I love teaching other people how to do what I've done. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've learned a lot of things, and if you follow these three steps, then you will be able to fast track and avoid the mistakes that I made, focus on the things that I did really, really well so that you can grow your bookkeeping business. Okay, so like I said, there are three steps. So step number one, you obviously need to know how to do bookkeeping. So back in 2020, I started taking an intro to accounting college class. I learned a little bit about accounting, and then I wanted to get a bookkeeping or accounting job, but I had no experience. So the cool thing is, if you're just getting started or if you're thinking about getting started, you can start an online bookkeeping business with no experience. And I know that because that's exactly what I did. But if you have no experience, you need to learn bookkeeping. You need to learn the fundamentals of accounting. You have to understand debits and credits, balance sheet, income statement, assets, liabilities, equity, profit, loss, However, it's really not that difficult to get a firm understanding of the basics. And I want to caution you, don't get so caught up on becoming a bookkeeping expert or an accounting master. Don't try to do that before you start your bookkeeping business because there are a ton of steps that you need to take to even get your first client. So become familiar with bookkeeping. However, simultaneously while you're learning bookkeeping, while you're learning QuickBooks, then you can move on to steps two and three simultaneously. So keep that in mind while you're learning bookkeeping. You also need to learn QuickBooks because the majority of your clients are going to be using QuickBooks online for their bookkeeping. So bookkeeping in and of itself, not terribly difficult. However, the QuickBooks software is actually pretty difficult to master. So you're going to want to spend a lot of time learning bookkeeping and also a lot of time focusing on learning specifically how to use the QuickBooks Online software. Now, all of this depends on how much time you have. So if you have a full-time job like I did, you probably only have one, maybe two, maybe three hours per day to devote to starting your bookkeeping business. If you don't have a full-time job and you're just jumping right into a bookkeeping business full-time and you're just getting started, you have 10 hours every single day to learn bookkeeping and then move on to steps one and two. So if you only have one to two hours per day, I would recommend maybe spend 10 to 20 minutes per day learning bookkeeping, learning QuickBooks. Now also, if you're just getting started and you already have your first client, you can also learn QuickBooks while servicing your first client. So that's why I say don't get so caught up on learning bookkeeping and QuickBooks in the beginning because you are going to learn so much as you get started. So this all depends on how much time you have. If you have your first client, you're going to spend maybe 10 to 20 minutes per day working on your client and that will also simultaneously help you learn QuickBooks and bookkeeping. But if you don't have your first client, then you're not gonna be doing any actual bookkeeping. So you still wanna spend 20, 10 to 20 minutes learning bookkeeping, studying accounting, and using the QuickBooks software. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to steps two and step three, and keep in mind how much time do you have? That's the big question you need to ask yourself because that will enable you to come up with a strategy for how much time you're going to devote to steps one, and now how much time you're going to devote to step two, which is marketing. So if you don't have any clients right now, then the majority of your time needs to be spent trying to get a client. It doesn't matter how much you know about bookkeeping or QuickBooks. You could be a CPA, but if you have zero clients, you're going to make zero dollars. So everything in the beginning is dependent on your marketing. And you can do all this for free. I have done all of my marketing for free. I do all of it on social media and I do a ton of consultations with aspiring bookkeeping business owners. And if you want help with this stuff, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. There's a link in the description of this video. And I tell everybody during these consultations that every single day they need to be on social media. And here's the strategy I recommend. So I try to keep this strategy short and attainable because there's no point in starting your bookkeeping business with 
an unattainable goal, that's just going to make you disappointed and feel like you failed. So keep your goals short, measurable, and attainable. So here's what I tell everybody. With social media, pick one platform. There's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. There's a ton of social media platforms, but if you're just getting started, pick one social media platform, I recommend Facebook, and post every single day to your social media platform. It's all about consistency. I always relate marketing to going to the gym or dieting. So I'm sure everybody at one point or another has tried to get in better shape or has tried to either lose weight or gain weight through manipulating your diet. So think about if you go to the gym for two weeks and you work out super hard and then you stop going to the gym, in three months you're going to be exactly where you were before you started going to the gym no matter how hard you work out for two weeks because it's all about consistency. So the same concept applies with your marketing. If you only do social media marketing for two weeks and then you stop, in three months you're going to be no better off than you were before. It's all about consistency. So for the first 30 days, pick one social media platform and post every single day to that social media platform. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be videos. It just needs to be something related to bookkeeping or QuickBooks or business in general. And the whole point of this is to get your name out there, to build an online presence, to establish a reputation and to build trust with your audience that way they start associating you with oh yeah that guy's a, a bookkeeper oh, oh yeah she's a quickbooks expert the whole point is nobody knows who you are right now nobody knows that you're a bookkeeper or a quickbooks expert so you need to tell them in the form of social media marketing think about this like a billboard think about this like a commercial on tv except you're doing it for free on your social media platform so you are just broadcasting a billboard or a tv commercial every single day for free through your social media, which I recommend using Facebook to get started. Okay, so that's step number two, marketing every single day for the first 30 days, consistency every day. It's really not complicated, it just takes consistency. Okay, step number three, and this is gonna be the last thing I talk about in this video, sales. So sales is different from marketing. Marketing is you're just kind of shouting to the world like, hey, look at me, this is what I do. Call me if you want. Sales is more targeted, you're going to be selling to individual people or selling to groups of people typically in the form of like a direct message or an email or a phone call or maybe you're going door to door actually knocking on doors and talking to people so with your social media you don't need to drive around to businesses you don't even need to call people you don't need to email people i would recommend start with facebook and start sending messages to your prospective clients. Now, first of all, you need to find prospective clients and you can do that a number of ways and I'm not gonna get into too many details on that, but you need to find business owners who are local to your geographical region. And I know you might offer virtual and remote bookkeeping services, but just getting started, people are more likely to trust you and more likely to hire you if they are close to your geographical region. So in the beginning, just target people who are in your state or in your city and then connect with them on Facebook. I have written down here 50 times. So you should send 50 friend requests every single day to local business owners. And if that task seems too daunting for you, then starting the business probably is not going to be a good idea for you because this is going to be what it takes to get your first client. So 50, time, 50 friend requests every single day for the first 30 days. And then once these people accept your friend request, you need to engage with your audience on Facebook. So I always compare, think about it this way, you go to a networking event and you show up and you sit in the corner and don't talk to anybody. You going to that networking event is essentially useless because you're not actually networking. So you can show up, but you gotta go a step further. You gotta talk to people, you gotta shake hands, you have to build relationships. So it's not enough to just go on Facebook and create a post and then sign off. I know most of you, probably don't like the idea of hanging out on Facebook and engaging with your audience, but that's what it's going to take to build your business, to build your reputation, and to get your first client. So you need to engage with your audience. It's as simple as if somebody posts an update on their business, you just go in there and comment and say, hey, good job, hey, that's awesome, hey, you rock, hey, love to see the progress. Just something positive and professional to engage with your audience so that you start building those relationships. And then finally, once you've connected with your ideal client, once you've found your prospective client, 
you need to send them a message. And I recommend you should wait 30 days after they accept your friend request. That way they've had a few weeks to get to know you, to build a relationship with you and to start to trust you. And then you can send them a message 30 days after they accept your friend request. Now, the last thing I'm gonna say is that question I asked in the very beginning, how much time do you have? That is the big question and that is what you need to ask yourself whenever you're trying to start your bookkeeping business. If you only have two hours per day, you need to optimize your two hours every single day. So spend the first 10 to 20 minutes either servicing your one and only client or learning QuickBooks and bookkeeping and then spend the last hour or the last hour and a half on focused marketing and sales. So maybe break it up. Maybe 50% of the time you are creating a marketing post and publishing it to your social media platforms and engaging with your audience. And then the other 50% of the time you need to be sending messages. You need to be sending friend requests. You need to be going to Google maps and looking for local business owners and calling them or sending emails or collecting email addresses from local business owners. You need to be ruthless and relentless trying to grow your business. It's not enough to just learn QuickBooks and make a website and then sit back and watch TV and hope that somebody calls you. That's not going to work. Maybe one person will call you in the next 30 days, but you need to be ruthless and relentless with reaching out to people and creating marketing content, building relationships, learning more about bookkeeping and QuickBooks so that you can give out bigger and better advice on more social media platforms and produce more marketing content. All of this depends on how much time you have. And if you only have two hours, you can still do it because I did it three years ago. I still had a full-time job whenever I started my bookkeeping business. So if you have a full-time job, don't let that discourage you. You just need to be laser focused for the hour or the two hours every day that you devote to your business.